so Meet the Parents came out October 2nd, 2000, and it stars the legendary Robert De Niro. You got the great Jew god of Ben Stiller. You got Blith Danner, swing! There's Terry Pollock, swing! And then my personal favorite appearance and actor in the movie is Owen Wilson, which this was kind of his like breakthrough role, I think. That's it's like, crazy. It's like, to think. He was in like some indie films before this. That's but funny. like this is like I guess and like the good thing about Owen Wilson starring in this movie is that like he brought in like a lot of his own ideas. Yeah, a lot of And like Ben Stiller stuff. personally chose him to be That's in the movie so, see, because of his comedy chops. Hey, when was Zoolander made? Because I thought Zoolander would have been. Zoolander like, was, it was it was like the same year okay, or no the, the year a year later because I think it came out in 2000 they had such a dynamic role in that one but that's interesting I didn't realize it was more Owen Wilson's dime, like first role yeah and then Meet the Parents was directed by Jay Roach and Jay Roach is actually really more well known for directing the Austin Powers trilogy that's true yep yeah and then he did he directed the second Meet the Parents movie, which was uh, mm -hmm. Meet the Fockers, but he didn't do the third one, which was the Little Fockers. Oh, I didn't even see was. that one. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, the second and third one are okay, but mm -hmm. honestly, the first one is just like in its own category by itself, and it's just so amazing. Like, what I love about this movie is that it has such a consistent drive to it. I mean, like, it jumps right into the story, and the story is yeah. pretty straightforward. You know, it's about this male nurse named Greg who's planning to propose to his girlfriend of 10 months, so it's like they're going to meet his parents, mm -hmm. or her parents. Her parents, yeah. And pretty much anything that could go wrong does go wrong. <laughs> and Jay Roach's whole like aspiration for the movie was to make it seem like a big anxiety dream. Yeah. And which I gotta ask, so what was it like when you met, do you remember the first time you met yeah. Steve's parents? Was it like tough or was it easy or? Oh, it was really easy. Like, They're pretty laid it, back Cause people. I think it was all because we would first, how we hung out, we always just go watch like Breaking Bad or Dexter. Oh, okay. And his mom was like really into for drinking tequila and like hanging nice. out with us. So it was just so easy going and chill. I feel like we didn't have to like, I just be myself, not be judged, which I really That's appreciated. Good. Yeah, see, yeah, Greg in the movie, he's like judged immediately. It's literally like you're in an interview, like interrogation. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, uh, Pam, who's played by Terry Pullo, like, her father, Robert De Niro, who's, like, supposed to be, like, this former CAA agent, like, when they pull up in the very beginning of the movie, when he's looking out the window, it almost seems like he's like, oh, shit, they showed up, <laughs> I'm still coming. high. Like, it, <laughs> I don't know, just like he was, like, getting stoned up there, and he's just kind of like, ah, fuck, okay, you, don't <laughs> smoke, wait. <laughs> that's, like, a tough one, like, that's tough to... Be prove yourself to somebody like that. That's awful. I would literally be shitting bricks. <laughs> That's just the worst. Like yeah. hanging out with people like that that are super oh, judgmental. So and, like they judge you, no personality. <laughs> they just like make it seem like it's such a tragedy that he's a nurse too. I mean, like I that's a that. like high paying, like well respected I profession so too. Much. I hate that so much. On all the work he had to do and all the skills and school studying, I hate that they kept dogging him on that. I'm like, get over it. <laughs> I know, yeah. And like I always thought it would be a good advertising for like staying in a hotel, like the part where Greg wakes up and then he goes into like the like the kitchen and they're all eating breakfast like up yeah. already. Yeah, oh that that pissed me off. Like too. someone had a visit from that hair the, fairy. Yeah, it's like fuck off. And I would be pissed at my fiance for not waking me up or like in which he does get mad. It's like like, I know, you know what, there's like, a, there's so many times in that movie where mm -hmm. it's like, Pam is such a shitty girlfriend. I agree, girlfriend. I agree. I it's like, she doesn't that. really back him up every time they, sh like, trash mm -hmm. on him for being a nurse and everything. It's so true. She just sits there and just, like, listens and let it happen. Yeah. It's frustrating. I don't like that at all. And the whole thing, like, she never explained, like, what her dad did. It's like, it was, like, a secret thing. It's yeah, like, saying that he's a could, florist. Yeah, you could say he was, like, in the government sector and couldn't talk about it. You can't, a florist? <laughs> or she could have just gone with like he's a retired cop. Yeah, or something like, like something that, exactly. Like that. But I will say though, I do respect like the fact that, uh, you know, they get to Pam's parents' house and like they, you know, do their greetings or whatever and they mm -hmm. show up. And I thought it's pretty cool how like Robert De Niro, he's like making cocktails and yes. like he has a full bar. Exactly. What was the Full Tom Collins? Or yeah, the Tom, Tom Collins, Collins mix, yeah. which is funny because Rob De Niro was in the 1995 Martin Scorsese classic Casino, where he's like goes under the alias like Mr. and Mrs. Tom Collins, That's like funny. when he has like the kidnapping money. So I think oh. that was actually a reference to that, that movie, from where I remember is. reading at least, which makes sense. That makes total sense. But I just love how he's when he's making the drinks that they're listening to. Uh, Frank Sinatra, I think it is. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, Jack, cool. Jack understands yeah. the art of blissing out to <laughs> some degree. I know, it's like, at least he drinks. At least he's not, like, anti-everything. Right, yeah, I mean, like, that would just be, oh, that'd be horrible to go, like, meet someone like that, and it's like, well, we're just going to sit here and uh, drink yeah, water. Yeah, just talk around in a circle. It was so fun. I love the part, though, when he's introducing the nanny cam, and he accidentally shows oh, up to the, the moms, skirt. the Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> Pam should have seen that 
on TV and been like, knock it off? Yeah. She didn't say anything. <laughs> Maybe she didn't notice it. Oh, there's just so many funny things and scenes in this whole movie. I know, I gotta say, like, I honestly, like, even though, like, Jack Burns, you know, Robert De Niro's mm -hmm. character, like, might come off to a lot of people as a tight ass, like, I actually really like him. Yeah. To a degree. I mean, I, he, had, he definitely has schedule burgers. You know, like, it's he's just so like, we've got a pre activity true. briefing in about like, 32 exactly. minutes. We're running behind. He has everything listed out, which I still think that was bullshit that they were going to her ex of Pam's ex husband or ex. Oh my yeah. god. Okay, yeah, that is just Owen sad. So, Owen Wilson's character, like, mm -hmm. he is supposedly in the movie, like, dated Terry Polo's character. Mm -hmm. You know, Pam. Right. And he's still, I don't even know, there's no indication he's, really as to how long it's been. Yeah. He's still since, like, they broke up. with her, right. I mean, I'm guessing, like, they must have broken up, like, before she moved to I Chicago. I mean, they were, yeah, they were dating for 10, Because they years. mentioned uh, Top Gun in the movie, where it's like, she says, like, Top That's Gun was true. a very popular movie when Kevin and I dated. So I'm like, okay, did they, how long were, they must have been exactly. together for quite some time. Exactly. It didn't really do a good timeline. And the fact that he sells pictures of her everywhere in his house. That is just creepy. And his, her dad's like obsessed with him. It's like, mm, this yeah. is so awkward. Maybe Jack was having an affair with Kevin on the sides, you know? <laughs> there was a he, line. He might have swung both ways. <laughs> That's so funny. I just think Robert De Niro the whole time looks like a pruned up like raisin. <laughs> he seems so yeah, old. Yeah, he looks to me like a, he kind of looks like a raisin that went to the spa. <laughs> That's just two or something. One of the things that like cracked me up about this was when Greg goes into the uh, like the drugstore with Jack, and he's like, "Do you have any of the uh, nicotine patches?" Because <laughs> like uh, I for the first time recently tried like nicotine pouches, and I mean, man, if you want to get a good jolt without doing speed. Nicotine pouches, I couldn't Dude. possibly recommend them more. One, they're cheaper than cigarettes. That's crazy. Two, they mm, actually get you jacked up. Wow. I mean, cigarettes give you a little bit of a jolt if it's like the good yeah. shit, like American Spirits, but, you know, if you're white trash and smoking those fucking Marlboro <laughs> Reds or Camel Lights or Winston's or whatever, I mean, well, I guess Camels are okay when it comes to the white trash cigarettes, but... <laughs> I'm telling you, just get nicotine yeah. pouches. Just put one in and, like, you you're just... You're good to go. That's yeah, so and there's no cum down from it either, so, I mean, like... And that's, oh yeah, that was a thing I noticed when it came to the nicotine gum in the movie that I was going to point out. Like, you know when, like, Greg goes to the animal shelter and he, like, yes. you know, wants to, like, takes the stray cat to pawn him off his jinxie. Yeah. Like, I never noticed that before, that the cat gets into the nicotine yeah. gum and that's why the cat goes crazy. So and it's destroys like, the dress like, oh my all God. Yeah, yeah, when you mentioned that, you're like, you're right, that's totally true. Was like, that poor cat, though, that's just crazy. <laughs> oh, that was awful. <laughs> I just always thought it was weird, too, when they get back and, like, uh, the doctor, Larry, that plastic surgeon douchebag, is like yeah. pissed off. The guy's like, dude, it's not your fucking house. Yeah. What do you care? It's, or yeah, maybe he's true. just trying to kiss Jack's ass, I don't know. I guess, or something. I think that was probably the worst thing that Greg probably did was the whole cat thing. But I get it. Why was a, he yeah, did yeah, 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 yeah. Because that was like a straight up lie. Well, like, yeah, like it did. almost seems like him and Pam are gonna break up. But then even yeah. she's like, I understand why you did it. You exactly. Know, like, and then, like, oh god, that cat. And I heard that Robert De Niro like wanted to help train. I guess. With yeah, he had Jane. He had cat burgers. Like he was like. Apparently he, he would like spend a lot of time yeah. in between takes with the cat and everything. Yeah, I thought that was cute. I just love that part. Like this, it's so funny because with his character, you would not expect that of him to be so in love. With I know. Yeah, he's like a, that pees in the toilet. He's like can't express my feelings, so I'm gonna only channel it to the cat. I swear, that's like a, that's how my fucking parents are. But he is such a cat person too. You can see that. <laughs> Uh, oh that big old pink dick. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Who's your least uh, favorite character in the movie? Oh, I fucking hate the brother, De De Denny. Oh, Denny, there should have been a him. plot twist at the end. I think Greg should have just fucking slit Denny's throat. Look <laughs> at the end. <laughs> okay, it's like he didn't exist at all, but all of a sudden he, he just like pops clothes. out of nowhere. He it's did. funny, like yeah, when he like goes into his room. Yeah. Like, it, to me, I was like, oh, maybe there will be, like, some nostalgia factor, like, yeah. but it's, like, it's so dated, like, I'm like, there's nothing cool about that. I just that love that, like, little Kim, she's fat. PH. Yeah, he's like, PH fat. <laughs> so I'm trying to be so cool, but yeah, it's like, where has he been this whole time? And he's such a fucking dick for setting him up. Yeah, like especially that. when he's like, hey, you're really on a roll there, bud, and he's like, oh, fight me, my Denny. God. I did not like him, and then, um, and what about you? What's your least favorite? It was def definitely Denny. I'd yeah. say second place would be... It's a toss-up between Dr. Bob and Dr. Those Larry. Those two people were like the same. They were, they were just were like awful. possessed by Satan, I they swear. They were so evil and rude. Like they didn't, like you couldn't say anything right around them. It was just Why, so just like crazy. It's like they just meet Greg. It's like, you don't want to go for the uh, MD? So yeah, they have, like, you know, yeah, MD yeah, burgers. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm probably, he's probably making freaking $100,000 a year. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. 
That's just funny. Yeah, no, I think those two, they're just annoying. They're side characters. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you don't see much really. Even though the sister's getting married, that's like the big plot. You don't really see much of the sister. I don't even know who she is. She's by. boring. She is boring. Very boring. I mean, the sister, Schwing! You know, she's pretty hot and beautiful, <laughs> but like, yeah, she actually died in 2005. I think I read something about that. That's crazy. Young age. She died of like Aww. pneumonia, I think. That's wild, huh? Just pretty random. That is crazy. Yeah. What are some other funny scenes that you like, or one of the most iconic Oh, so I like? think the best part of the movie is probably when they get to Kevin's house, you know, Owen Wilson's yeah. house. And this is, I think, Owen Wilson. Of all the people in the movie, he overall steals the entire show, you know? <laughs> you know, like, going back to our Rump Diary review where, you know, it talked about how Giovanni Rabisi's character yeah. steals the show. Yeah. Owen Wilson, he's only in the movie for, like, what, ten minutes? Oh, yeah, probably. You'd say, but, like, he did a lot of improvisation, mm -hmm. and he's mm -hmm. so fucking hilarious. So like, funny. everything he says is just so <laughs> ridiculous so and just, funny. like, out of this world. Like, I don't know, like, he, there's a part where, you know, he's, like, talking about, like, his job, like, has, like, you know, I just, you know, went and purchased some, uh, like, wireless IPOs and the stuff just skyrocketed from I'm there. I'm an investor, yeah. Yeah, he's, like, an investor. He's, like, I don't like to be painted with that brush. Do, do we have time? <laughs> Let me show you what I'm really into. And then, like, so he, they go into, like, his garage, which is, like, pretty yeah. much, like, a, like, wood shop. Mm -hmm. And then he's, like, what got you into, you know, carpentering? Carpentry? I'm going to have to say Jesus. Jesus was my carpentry. You know, if you're going to Jesus with a carpentry, <laughs> it's like, where did that come from? Okay. better than Christ. I, th I know where Owen Wilson's come from. Like, you just meet these people that are just so yeah. ridiculous sometimes, where it's like, are you really like this? Or are you just trying to put up the facade? He's like trying to be super Of being perfect. like this decent, perfect human exactly. being, but you're psycho deep down. I hand, <laughs> I hand whittled the whole entire Not too bad, considering I carved out one it piece of wood. It took me seven hours. I don't know yeah, seven hours. <laughs> I was like, no way. That's insane. Oh, it's just so funny. Yeah, he was pretty funny in that. It's yeah, funny I love Owen in Wilson in that movie. He's yeah. hilarious. Uh, <laughs> uh, the music. There's a lot of music from uh, Randy uh, Newman, who's well known for yes. You Got a Friend in Me uh, yeah. from the Toy Story movie. So I liked his music. I kind of like Randy Newman. No, yeah, I think it was good. I can't remember what the beginning song was. but uh, When well, like You're a Fool in Love. Yeah, right, Randy that's Newman. Right. I, that's I a good song. That one. Well, speaking of songs, I really like the scene when they're driving to the drugstore. Oh, yeah. Pump, <laughs> pump, pump the, the Magic, magic Dragon. That's right. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, see, this is where Jack, you know, my <laughs> fan fiction theory, I think he's just trying to deny that he is a pothead. Oh, I agree. That's such a great point. He's like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You a pothead fucker? Because he seems to bring yeah. it up. He's got he's pothead like, burners. Knows. And the fact that, like, going back to another scene when they find that pipe is like, how do you know? Yeah, and he's like, really this is a device for smoking marijuana. It's <laughs> yeah, like, dude. He knows. That's because you know he probably took that pipe at one point and probably, like, <laughs> smoked it true. and put it back in Denny's room. It's like, how do you not know your son smokes pot? Come on. I man. know, yeah. Like, that's so stupid. I mean, he knows. He just didn't want to. Well, even Ben person. Stiller makes a plant that, like, towards the end. He does towards the end. He's like, yeah. oh, pretty even surprising you're... for a CAA post <laughs> Yeah, he, like, burn, burn. Yeah, oh. jumping into some trivia part of the movie. So originally, they had Jim Carrey in mind to play that's right, that's Gregory right. Fokker, and he was actually the one that came up with the whole, like, you know, last name being Fokker. And they were actually not even going to use that last name unless they could find someone with the actual surname, right, Fokker. <laughs> and I think it's funny. good that they had Ben Stiller play him. The thing I love about Ben Stiller's comedic style is that he can be very, like, nonchalant, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. then also be kind of, like, insane at the same time. I love it when he goes on his rants. I think he's Yeah, so yeah. Up. Ben like, Stiller goes on some really good oh rants, like, when he fucking snaps on it's the airplane. It's so funny. I crack it Yeah, my much. kung fu grip. Like, I love that. <laughs> bom, 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 bom. <laughs> Oh, oh my, you gonna arrest so me? Stupid. He's having a fucking and meltdown. So he literally had, like, I can't believe that he went through all that and didn't like kill someone at that point. Like, oh my god! Oh my god! He survived. He like a he was a world. trooper for putting he up was with a all trooper. that shit. He pu pulled up with so much stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so. Funny. And then also, uh, Alexander Payne did a rewrite of the script, and Alexander oh. Payne is actually a popular director. He directed one of my personal favorite movies, uh, Sideways, which stars Gio okay. or Giamatti, we're busy. Uh, uh, Paul, Giamatti Paul Giamatti and like Thomas Hayden Church. If you haven't seen Sideways, I definitely recommend that movie. Just make sure you have a bottle of Pinot Noir, but that's for a whole other <laughs> thing. So I was surprised to find that out that Alexander Payne like, did a rewrite that, of the yeah. script, and I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense, because really cool. I guess like one of the good things about Meet the Parents is it does, I mean, like it's almost kind of like I know it's like Jay Roach was going for like you know it to be like an anxiety dream, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but there is kind of like a lot of like mellow tones throughout the movie, yeah. which I kind of like. Yeah, it's true. It's very well paced out and stuff like that. It's oh yeah, I mean well it's at one hour and forty seven minutes, and yeah. it does fly by pretty quick. It does. It really does. It's the only part I don't like is like honestly towards the end. I feel like once he like I agree. 
goes to the airport. That's what I agree. Kind, kind of, of like that's where it kind of went through a lull when they kind of yeah. break up. It kind of like okay, where's like I was kind of ready for it to be done, but I right, mean, it, yeah, it recovered well in the end because I love it in the end when he's watching the videotape or the camera. And I know, and I think he's drinking. Still, he's drinking something too. He's like drinking like a bedroom. what I'm drinking like a vodka <laughs> tonic basically. And he's just watching him rant on the nanny cam. I was like, that's so funny. That's I just like how he doesn't even get mad. Too, he doesn't. He's like, 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 like pretty much shit talking. He him. He's just like kind of laughing at. It. That's what I like about oh, Jack's yeah. character. Yeah. And it then you know what? Oh, wait. Yeah. Going back to some trivia, I almost forgot about oh. this. So Robert De Niro is the reason why they decided to include the uh, the lie detector test thing. Like he thought it would be a I good idea, that. and then it ended up becoming like such a big part yeah. of like the promotional aspect of the movie. That's like because so that's the the cover he had of the, the movie covers with his polygraph. Yeah. That's so crazy because that's such a yeah a huge thing. It has a whole little secret room and everything. I love that that's, secret room. Like you cool. know that's where Jack goes and takes oh, his bong hits and oh, blisses out. <laughs> Probably right. No, that'd be awesome to find that. Oh, that's so fun. It's almost like he set him up too, because he's like, you can go sleep in the den, not in Pam's room. And like, and there's a secret room in there. It's like he, he just shows up out of nowhere too. I know. Like for something. It's like right? a secret tunnel or something. Oh, Jack, I was just. Uh, do you have any weed? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask, Greg. <laughs> you know what? That's so funny. Let me show you this playlist I made. <laughs> Starts off with that. Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you were saying. Let me ask you a question, Greg. Have you ever played Mario Kart? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh man. Oh, you were saying um, your favorite like flamethrower. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, I so we got to cover flamethrowing outfit category. So for me, I think Robert De Niro <laughs> falls in that category for myself. There's like a part where he's like going through Greg's suitcase, but it ends up not being the right suitcase because Greg in the movie he that's loses. Right his suitcase mm -hmm. near port. So like he has to spend the whole weekend wearing uh, like Jack's clothes, which, oh yeah, before I forget, okay. So Greg is wearing Jack's pajamas, right? That's true. And the yeah. daughter is like trying to seduce him in the room. So I thought that was weird. So it's like, she's getting turned on Ew. and he's wearing his dad's, that her dad's weird. pajamas. <laughs> And to me, I thought the closest between Pam and Jack is kind of weird. I mean, like, yeah. I get it, you know, you have a close bond with your daughter, her. but it just seemed kind of like... A little too much, maybe. A little too much at times. That's like, so funny. I didn't think about that with the pajamas. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, flamethrowing outfit category for myself, personally. I like Jack because there's a part where he's wearing, like, a red flannel, and he, you know, he tucks his shirt in, you know, he's got Very a nice, nice. haircut. Mm -hmm. Very clean, and I like when he's driving. He has driving gloves. Yeah, like driving gloves in the hat. Yeah, that was kind of cute. So I'll hand it to Jack. He's a Very classy English. guy. I, I just, I'm, I'm with Greg though. I, you know, I, I don't oh. dislike cats, but I love dogs. I would much rather have a dog for sure. Especially, uh, yeah, <laughs> German shepherds. <laughs> I have German shepherd burgers. Well, it's like he and I love wolves, as you can see. <laughs> Wolf game music a video. Hello. Hello. Give the package. Did I plan on that? <laughs> Yes. That's so funny. <laughs> Everyone watches is probably thinking like, yeah, and this guy needs to go to the insane asylum. <laughs> this guy needs This is actually much. my mentor right here. I'm, just, I'm on break from the mental institution this week. <laughs> this is the part of therapy. <laughs> yeah. What do you want from me? It's like a million degrees out today. <laughs> it is hot. Yeah. Uh, well, is there over. anything else you want to touch upon? I don't think so. I'll just say overall, I just, I think this movie is just a good one to revisit every once in a while. It just, it's a fun thing to watch. It's good humor. Yeah, very good humor. Very well written, good and characters. It really is a movie that you could. I mean, it's not really that inappropriate. I mean, it's no. It's PG thirteen. It's not. Yeah. I think. Yeah. It's really not inappropriate at all. Yeah, I mean, if you want to see, you know, a good comedy classic with, uh, you know, a legendary actor such as Robert De Niro, I guess this was like a good turning point for him. Yeah. I guess like before this, he did analyze that because he wanted to try and start doing things. More, serious, more maybe. comedic, because he, you know, for yeah. years, he's well known for, you know, being like playing in such serious movies. Yeah. I mean, like Raging Bull, you got Taxi Driver, Casino, Goodfellas. That's true. You know, That's so true. many great ones. Mm -hmm. But it's even though he, funny. Rob De Niro, he did star in a movie in the 80s called like Mr. New York or some like huh. movie where he's like a aspiring comedian. So I think that was one of his first really? like comedic roles, but like he didn't really do anything comedic yeah, after that for a long time. That huh, interesting. But yeah, I couldn't yeah. possibly recommend this movie more. Yeah, it's if you amazing. haven't seen it, what's with you? What's with you? Yeah. <laughs> Go Come see on. it. Get with the program. What's the matter? What's the matter with you? What did I tell you? <laughs> Don't buy anything. Buy everything. <laughs> Don't buy anything unless you get your stimulus check. <laughs> All right, like we always All say, right. for the love of God, hit the like and subscribe button. 